Hello beer fans, Hero Brewing Company here. Today, uh, and welcome to my beer library. Today we are going to be doing another beer vlog, beer review. Um, uh, this is a classic, and uh, I love the classics. And so every now and then, I just go back, kind of like a nostalgia thing, I guess. And I'll get one, or two of, uh, or like a six pack of uh, stuff I had in my younger days, my military days. And uh, this was one of them, Bud Heavy, Budweiser, King of Beers. Said so the world-renowned Budweiser Lager beer. So this should um, basically I'm getting ready to make a lager. So trying to get a taste of you know the uh, history plus good taste. So we're gonna see if this tastes how I want it to, because um, in my mind it tastes like you know. Brewed by our original process from the choicest hops, rice, and best barley malt. Anheuser-Busch. Um, uh, electricity is one type of energy we use to brew. Learn more at Budweiser.com. Five percent alcohol by volume which is uh, typical for uh, a lager. Give it a go here. Uh, it's a twist top. Wasn't expecting that. So there you go, there's the top of the, it says King of Beers. So a real urine color, uh, but you've been eating asparagus type of thing. So not green, but uh, not a lot of water going on there. So <clears throat> it has that alkali taste or a odor to it, you know, um, like if you spill beer on yourself and you smell like a beer all night, that's what that smell is. So, it doesn't taste as bad as what I was thinking it was going to taste like. I don't think I've had Budweiser in probably uh, uh, quite a few years. Uh, just because, like, everybody knows that I drink craft beers and whatnot. And so, everywhere I go, if there's like a, a tailgating party or a party or something like that, everybody has a six pack of. You know, in my in my part of Ohio, we all have, you know, uh, um, Christmas ale or something like that. So it's uh, we all drink Ohio beers because Ohio has a lot of breweries. So you can taste um, the alcohol, and then you can taste uh, like kind of like a straw taste. Like if you ever like went and picked up a bunch of grass and started chewing it, that's the kind of taste you get. There's not a lot of uh, layers to this. Like it's it's very crisp though and refreshing. So if it's a hot day, this is perfect for you. If if you're out there bailing or something like that, like this is this is it. All day music festival something like that. It's real crisp. It's easy to drink, and I think that's why it sells so well because of that like it's you could drink it it's easy it's a uh, you know so you know out of all the lagers i've ever had in my life and uh i've had a few um 100 being the best zero being the worst i would give this at about a 60. uh so it lacks the layered effect that I would want to go for, like I would want, you know, wheat, you know, like a uh, a barley, and then you know, like an after hops taste, not too IPA ish, but you want a little hop taste in there. Um, th I can't taste any hops in this whatsoever. It almost tastes like rice water with like the straw taste. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna drink it because I bought it so there you go 
I'm a little disappointed it's a twist cap. Now I can't reuse the bottles and they have this awesome embossment on it. That's uh, That was really a, a buying factor as well because I like to reuse all the bottles of which are not as twist caps. So. No bueno. Anyways, go try something you've uh, tried when you were uh, 18 through 22 years old and uh, let me know if you still like it. Do you like Budweiser? I'm more of a light night. I'm a more of a light guy now, so Bud Light, Coors Light, Miller Light type of stuff. But cheers.